one wants to admit they need help. Um, it's very difficult to ask for help, and a lot of people wait too long. Tonight, the horrifying discovery officers made when they entered a Marietta, Georgia home. A family living in absolutely disgusting conditions with their two children. Here's the outside of the house. Bugs everywhere, roaches, giant spiders, and stuff all over the floor, dirty dishes, and the smell of urine and mold. The worst part, however, the condition of the children. A five-year-old girl weighing 158 pounds, so overweight she could barely walk, with rotting teeth and bugs in her hair. And an 89-pound four-year-old, she was lying on a filthy mattress wearing a urine-soaked diaper. The parents, if you can call them that, James and Ann Cordona, were arrested for felony child cruelty, but they've already bonded out. Watch this exchange between a reporter and the mother. You don't think they were mistreated? Can we say that? Here? Yeah. No. But there's an issue. Neighbors saw these kids, noticed they were morbidly obese and that they couldn't communicate well. Why didn't anyone intervene? We have got to stop being a society that turns our heads and looks the other way. Someone should have helped these poor children. Straight out to my fantastic panel and WSB radio reporter John Lewis, who was on the phone. John, you've seen photos of the inside of this home. Was it as bad as they say it was? Uh, Jane, actually, the photos don't even do it justice because neighbors we spoke to say that as bad as it looked, it was the stench coming from this apartment that was what they noticed. Uh, one uh, man who lived nearby said that the odor was so foul that you could just drive by and smell, as he said, dirt and filth in the air. Now, inside the, uh, the home, the apartment, uh, as you mentioned, mattress stained with urine. There was dishes piled up, bugs everywhere. When the girls were taken out by protective service officials, uh, one girl, the, the five-year-old, had lights in her hair that were so bad you could stand over it and see the light falling around in her hair. Oh, my God. And this is just one of those things where you, you always afterwards ask the question, how could something like this have happened? But as you say, neighbors were aware of what was going on. There were social workers, social services. There was a safety net in the area for the parents. And like stories we've heard before, in this case, Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm, I'm trying to figure out. You're saying there was, there was a safety net. Apparently, these kids were being homeschooled. Wouldn't there be somebody from the Department of Education or the Department of Children and Families or whatever they call it, particularly in Georgia? It's always the same thing. They look, there's, there's social workers who, who go in there and they look to see if the kids are okay. Where were those individuals, John? Well, in this case, the Department of Family and Children's Services in Georgia, and it may have something to do, we have not heard from them, but... Remember, these girls were five and four years old, so they may not have been of school age yet, the point being that they would not have been enrolled in school. They were not registered in any school anywhere. The question being asked of by people outside the situation is, if the neighbors saw these girls walking around outside barefooted all the time, one man said he never in any weather condition saw these girls with shoes on their feet. If these girls are so morbidly obese, in one case, the five-year-old who weighed 158 pounds could not step on the scale Oh, she could not sit oh down God. by herself now, without helping stand back up again. Go ahead, Mike. J James, James Cardona's sister, who lives out of state, said these girls should have been taken away years ago and lived in filth. Well, why didn't she step up and do something to help her nieces? Uh, you're right. Somebody should have said something about these kids because they, they were living in squalor, and the neighbor said that they, the kids could hardly communicate, and the four-year-old was still wearing a diaper. I talked to one of my law enforcement sources in Cobb County, and they said it was enough to make you puke. 